Hello everyone and welcome to Cisco ICE Lessons Wireless. My name is Chris Avance and I'm gonna be your instructor throughout this entire program. Let's see what we're gonna learn. So uh, this course was developed obviously around Cisco ICE, but the cool thing is, as I was starting to develop, I was actually halfway through development of this course. I was halfway through. Then my buddy at Cisco says, hey, we're about to release ICE version three. And I said, well, tell me it's not gonna be that big of a change graphically to where we could just use what I've got. And he's like, no, it's a pretty big change graphically. So after a few weeks of rewriting, we now have this course that is all based on the new ICE 3.0 that was just released a week or two weeks ago, max at Cisco. So uh, probably, hopefully first to market with it, but who cares? Uh, it's a great course and the best to market is what I'm really after. Now, uh, we're gonna focus obviously on all that is wireless and ICE in this course. You know, if you would have taken uh, a video series like this from me, let's say, I don't know, eight years ago, nine years ago, you would have had to take four or five different courses because all that ICE does today under one umbrella was, you know, actually four or five different servers that you had to deploy. For example, you had secure ACS server for radius.1x. Uh, that also did TACX too. Uh, and that took a little bit for, uh, for ICE to catch up with the TACX game, but we do it now. Uh, but then you've also got the NAC profiler, the NAC guest server, and basically all those were separate pizza boxes. All that is now under one roof, which is Cisco Identity Services Engine. It is a massive centralized policy server, or it can be a massive centralized policy server. And what I mean by that is it touches everything in the network to get context and visibility, and also now share that context with others via things like PXGrid. So uh, this course is designed to help people with basically day two support. We do go over the initial installation and, you know, kind of sizing and things like that for a minute or two. But the majority of the course is spent with CCIE style lab objective, which I love. And even if you're not that level, you're going to love them too, because it's, hey, your boss says we need to set up a secure guest access solution and make sure that guest access is compartmentalized from any other resource on the network. And uh, we also need to make sure that guest traffic is backgrounded compared to other traffic. So you have a defined objective instead of somebody going, this is how to set up both. This is how to set up. So this is how to set up. So, so we try to make it as uh, real world kind of relevant skills for you as possible. Okay. Now uh, I've been in the IT game going on 22 years now. I am. That's, that's, that's not that old. I'm not that old, but yeah, I've been in the game for like 22 years now. And I've been teaching the last eight years and I've been loving every minute of it. Now, um, here's the thing. I also used to teach really long courses, like 40, 50 hour video courses on a number of things, okay? And what we've realized is, is none of you finish them. And it's not because the content isn't great, by the way. It's because it's hard to sit down behind a video and stay focused on, you know, an hour long video times 40. So what I have tried to do ever since then is make sure that courses are focused to the point, relevant, that every minute you spend watching the video, you're gaining some level of skill and talent from it. There's no filler content. Don't waste time over explaining things because it's a video you can always go back and watch it again if you need to. I try to make sure that the videos are no more than 15 minutes long each. Some say even that's too long. I, you know, the metrics sometimes, depending on who you get, but if you make great content, I have a feeling that's gonna be plenty for you guys. And here's the thing, finish each video, you're gonna get a green check mark in the AVGTM student portal where this video is, every video you finish to know which one you finished last. Then you know where you're at and can continue and all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, this is the first part of a series, if you guessed it, with that wireless uh, hyphen after it, because ICE can do so much. It's just too much to throw at somebody to go, here, focus on wireless, let's focus on wired, let's focus on PX grid, device administration. Let's focus, I mean, I could do a, a freaking series just on web off. I could, I could definitely do that. But um, again, this is designed to be focused, get you the skills you need if you're managing a wireless environment with Cisco ICE to design policies around all that is wireless, including device onboarding, okay, including uh, certificate provisioning and all that kind of fun stuff that goes along with it. 
We do have some setup videos that uh, takes you through setting up ice in case you want to build your own lab with this. It doesn't take a lot of resources to build the eval license. I've actually fired it up on a laptop to show people before. No big deal. I wouldn't put 10,000 hosts on it. It's an eval, but for labs, works just great. All right, so this is our topology in this course, and we are using uh, the wireless LAN controller 3504. I'm going to try to see if I have enough time to squeeze in some 9800 stuff as well with this course, but it is the updated uh, Active Directory 2019, so you can see a modern interface. I noticed a lot of training videos out there, and I was kind of guilty of this too. We all have licensing from like the 2008 days for some reason, and we kept using them even in modern courses. And that's not really beneficial to you guys to see older code in a new course. So from now on, I'm trying to use the, the later stuff in every course we do uh, whenever possible. Now, we've got a controller. That's the big thing. You could virtualize a controller if you want to or virtualize 9800. Uh, the big thing is around the ICE configuration for all this in this program. Now, you will need a, a switch. I have a 3650 uh, iOS XE switch that is running in this course. We've got 1800 series APs, and of course, ICE 3.0 uh, running as a, a virtual machine. There's two of them, and that's really just so I could show you guys how to integrate and cluster uh, ICE. But I'm gonna do that as kind of a bonus video uh, because it doesn't really fit, like I said, with that mantra of focus skills for wireless management of ICE for wireless purposes. Now. Again, we are going to do another course. There's a follow-up course I'm already in the middle of developing for wired access. Those are the two big ones. Uh, I've also been asked to do a device admin course for TACAX and properly configuring a TACAX policy with ICE as well for network device administration. So I'm going to do that because uh, you know I was asked. It was a great customer. We try to take care of our customers. And we're building a lot of videos right now uh, for our digital learning library and we want to make sure that we're building videos that you guys want and need and that help you gain skills. So hey, if you have requests, send it to me. Who knows, might build your course next. So we've got a few VLANs, all that kind of stuff, a few uh, SVIs on that switch, everything's routing off the switch, very simple topology uh, to get us going. As far as clients and supplicants, we are using a Windows 10 client laptop that I've got in the lab. We are using an Android tablet and an iOS iPhone as the three different supplicants. Since it's wireless focused, got to have different supplicants to show you what's up. All right, now here's the actual outline. We've got a few lessons to kick it off just in case. I know some of you may be coming into this uh, about learning ICE and may not have some of the fundamentals down about why we're doing what we're doing and why we're doing authentications again. I get asked all the time, well, I authenticate on my Windows box all the time. Why do I need ICE? Well, there's a huge difference in that, right? I mean, Windows authentications happen at the application layer. That's layer seven. With ICE, we're doing 802.1x, which is a standard for port-based access control. We're authenticating at layer two. So you can't just plug into a switch port and get an IP address anymore without us proving your identity or your device's identity first. That's a big one, but there's many, many other reasons to deploy a Cisco Identity Services Engine. So we talk about that in these lessons, okay? Uh, AAA basics, authentications, identity encryption, authenticators, P, P caution, L2, and you're gonna have fun with that one, okay? That's a, that's a fun one, we had fun with that. Uh, L2 authentications, uh, layer three authentications, WebAuth, and that's where we go to WebAuth, it's better than layer seven, but it's, it's WebAuth. Uh, creating ICE policies, of course, and what the building blocks are and all that kind of fun stuff and device profiling. And then we're gonna get into these discovery labs, like I said, that are kind of uh, boss-driven tasks and real-world scenarios that you may be asked to do as somebody managing an ICE environment for wireless uh, devices and wireless authenticators and all that goes along with that. So there's lots and lots of labs we're gonna show you. There's also some bonus labs we're including as well. They're gonna be labeled bonus. They're not part of the outline, but they're there. And uh, we're gonna be uh, compiling those and sending those over to you uh, as well. There's just a few there that we want to include. Like I said, if you want to build your own lab, that kind of thing. A little bit about myself. Uh, again, I have been in IT 22 years now, and uh, I've been teaching the last eight. In my entire career, I've worked as a service provider or partner level. So I've always had my hands in lots of different environments, lots of different networks, lots of different 
uh, size of organizations, types of organizations, and it's been a pretty blessed career. I'm pretty lucky to have, have you know, gotten started so early with GE. I keep thinking about that uh, back in the day when I was 17. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still young. I've just been doing it a long time. Uh, so if you want to find out more about me, I don't blog as much as I used to, but chrisavance.com, I'm trying whenever I get free time, but I'm writing lots of courses right now, so I don't always get the most time. But I try to release stuff at the blog. I definitely uh, try to be active on Twitter because that's where all my colleagues and friends are and family is and all that kind of stuff. We're also releasing a lot of free content from not just me, but all of the Wi-Fi training instructors and active expert instructors at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Chris Avance. So it's really kind of a Wi-Fi training active expert YouTube page. It's just under my name because that's where I started posting the videos. Uh, then, of course, Wi-Fi training. So yeah, I've been involved with lots of recent projects. I just did not really update this page. But yeah, that's me. This is me. Um, a little bit more about Wi-Fi training, guys. If this is your first experience with us, we actually, the, the larger part of our company, well, first of all, let me back up. Uh, Wi-Fi training is the training division of a, of a company called Active Expert. So I run the training division, and I'm also one of the senior instructors here. Okay, we are a smaller kind of family company. There's about 40 of us total. Um, very strong skill sets. So uh, on my side, on the training side, well, we've got a little bit less than a dozen people that teach for us, right around a dozen. But between that, we've got like 11 expert titles between us, between CCIE, CWNAs, and both. Very specialized in wireless security, cybersecurity, uh, ethical hacking, and uh, network automation, enterprise networking and network automation. That's our that's our wheelhouse. That's what we do best. That's what we stay focused on. Um, you're not going to see us teaching like advanced data center stuff uh, in at least with this authorized Cisco program. You're not going to see us teaching advanced uh, you know service provider stuff at least with the authorized Cisco program. But we are the authorized Cisco learning partner, and it should you guys get learning credits or want to take the authorized course. Uh, that includes the kind of umbrella for Cisco, then we are the people to see for that too. We're authorized under our parent company, Active Expert, and uh, we actually own our own ICE labs. So whenever you take that course, you'll be running on our labs here. Cool thing about that is whatever version of code was running in the workbooks, we'll actually, we have the latest and greatest here. So that's a cool thing. Now, we also deliver a lot of uh, vendor agnostic wireless courses with like CWMP, and uh, we do EC Council courses from time to time as well. And bottom line is we, we stay focused on what we do best. Uh, Active Expert is a very specialized services company. Uh, my colleague, George Stefanik, runs our services group. And uh, like I said, wireless uh, security consulting, ICE consulting, DNA center, any type of wireless architectures. We make stuff work, we guarantee it. And we do a lot of partnering with guys uh, who bring us in, uh, we get it right, they take it over from there, and or just, you know, all kinds of stuff. So love what we do. We're very blessed. Now, you're obviously about to start a really cool ICE uh, Lessons Wireless course with me. And one of our goals has been to grow that digital learning library as well. Uh, we also developed the uh, wireless workbooks for the various topics around the CWMP program. That is a lab-focused workbook, by the way. You buy the workbook, you can get lab time. We were the first to deliver a hands-on wireless lab experience that you can go purchase and get access 24-7. You just book your time in advance, and you get access to all the latest tools and hands-on skills for any of the wireless tracks. So for associate security uh, at the professional level, analysis at the professional level, design at the professional level, that's coming out next week. Uh, yeah, so... Um, this is a little bit about us, and we are so happy that you're here for ICE Lessons. So now that all that is done, let's get with the course and the skills, and let's have a lot of fun together. If you need anything, ping me. You got all my contact info now. You're ready to get started, and let's do it, guys. See you next.